High Lord Wolnir was one of those who traversed the abyss. The reason for this is unclear, but it appears his body and soul somehow got trapped within the abyss. At least, that's what's assumed. While it is unclear whether the Unkindled One encounters him in the Abyss or not, one thing is certain. Wolnir has been in the Abyss. His Holy Sword became eroded from the taint of the Abyss, and he was gripped by a fear of true darkness. This is to assume he fears the outcome of letting the First Flame die out instead of being rekindled by the Souls of Cinder. The eroded sword along with three armlets that he stripped from the corpses of clerics gave him some semblance of comfort. But did they comfort him while he was in the abyss? Did he ever actually escape the abyss? Or was being trapped his fate? His fate deemed by his possibly selfish actions. As Lord Wolnir sentenced countless souls to gruesome deaths, keen to outlive them all. These souls are assumed to be all of the corpses and bones found within the catacombs of Carthus. Some of them may have been other lords as well, whose crowns he ground into dust, which then became one, with Wolnir becoming the one High Lord. But the question now is what was Carthus before this? Was it built specifically to be the catacombs of Carthus, or was there a kingdom to go alongside it? The path through the catacombs of Carthus lead to Irithyll of the Boreal Valley. That location has its own significance as well, but that story is better told at another time. The path below Carthus leads to more ruins that share connections to other things as well, but Carthus alone doesn't seem to have any background aside from being a tomb. Perhaps the tomb was built to contain the abyss, or perhaps it was built for Wolnir's victims. As of now, it's uncertain whether Wolnir came first or the tomb did. Some of the skeletons that still roam the catacombs suggest that the warriors of Carthus were very skilled swordsmen, however they appear to have been executioners as well. There is also a resin found within the catacombs associated with the warriors of Carthus, whose blades take on the scarlet hues of both this sanguine substance and the spatters of their victim's blood, which suggests that Carthus warriors were in fact executioners for High Lord Wolnir. The Abyss Watchers were guarding the Catacombs because it led to Irithyll of the Boreal Valley, but perhaps the Catacombs may have led to the Abyss at one point. Or perhaps the Abyss is locked away within the Skull Goblet. The Goblet that engulfs the room in darkness is possibly a doorway to the Abyss, where the High Lord rests until an Unkindled One disturbs his slumber. After losing the battle with the Unkindled One, the High King doesn't simply disappear like most other foes, but rather, he appears to get dragged into eternal darkness. With his only light, the armlets, stripped away from him as he is left to suffer what's possibly the Dark of the Abyss. Hey everyone, I have two little things I want to talk about really quickly. The first thing is that from now on I won't be doing any post commentary like I am now in these lore videos because I think you'll have a better experience with them if I keep them strictly in a storytelling style. Because right now you'd have to watch the lore and then listen to me ramble about something, so no more post commentary from now on. The second thing is that I want to give a huge thank you to everyone who watched, commented, and liked the previous lore video, which I'm going to link here for anyone who hasn't seen it, as you guys have motivated me to do this more often. By my standards, the outcome of that video was amazing. As of the time of this recording, it has about 200 views and over 20 likes, which is a lot for me. So, huge thank you to everyone who contributed to that. You've motivated me a lot. Also, as for commenting, don't be afraid to tell me if you believe I've gotten some of the lore incorrect or you simply want to add some insight to the lore or whatever. If you try to correct me, don't worry, I'm not going to be an ass about it. I'll actually talk to you and debate what could be what. I'm not just going to be like, no, I'm right, you're wrong. So don't worry about that. After all, the lore is always up for interpretation and everyone can come up with something different, which I love hearing and reading about. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to try to do this more often now, so if you like the way I made this video, then please feel free to subscribe for my future content. Again, thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.